Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at the top 5 best balloon decks in the game right now. Now the first deck you can already see right here is a balloon freeze deck. If you don't have the Infernal Dragon, I would say go ahead and use an Infernal Tower in its place. Now deck number 2 over here is a classic Lataloon strategy, pretty straightforward. Deck number 3 is going to be a P.E.K.K.A. Balloon deck. If you guys don't have the Electro Wizard, go ahead and use Archers in its place. And if you don't have the Miner, maybe a Balaram or a Hog Rider. Now deck number 4 is a super interesting one. It is a no legendary giant balloon cycle deck. This deck is a great option for the average free to play player because it features a lot of common cards and it has no legendaries needed. Now deck number five over here is gonna be a Mega Knight Balloon deck. Now we're gonna go ahead and do one live battle with each of these decks, starting off with the Balloon Freeze deck first. All right, so here we go with battle number one, the Balloon Freeze Pump deck against Barba Papa up there. Now, unfortunately we don't have the Electric Collector in our starting hand, Basically, whenever you are using a pump deck, it is always ideal to have that as your opening play. In fact, we don't really have the greatest starting hand here at all. So we're gonna go Ice Golem and Infernal Dragon here on the right hand side, and then do Mega for this princess. There we go. And then third, I will turn down the volume of my headphones because it's pretty loud. So now right here we can go ahead with a whoa, what happened to that Mega Mini right there? He jumped back. That was weird. So uh that's there, let's go this and then minions here. I didn't like the free spell, but we had to do it. Like, there was no choice. We had no choice. Let's ignore that. Get one, maybe. Uh, just one hog hit. I'm okay with that. And now we can go ahead and get a pump down here pretty soon. So, we're going to wait for the musketeer to cross the bridge to see if he supports it first. And then we might just ignore her and go pump in the corner. Now, I wouldn't normally ignore that musketeer, but I want to get the pump lead going on here soon. Boom. We can go pull these over here. And then mega to kill. There we go. And then both towers will kill the Elite Barbarians, that Mega doing work. Now, we just got to be worried here about his next princess, wherever she may be coming from. Uh, Elite Barbarian doing 5,000 damage per hit, but the tower survives nonetheless. Let's go here, chill out for a second. Let's go Infernal Dragon on the left-hand side, see what he does. Barba Papa, what do you got for us? Probably a Hog Red on the right. Hog Arrows on the right-hand side. Wait for it. Let's go split minions back here. Zap this. Boom. There we go. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't terrible. Um, make it here. All right. So we're gonna ignore that tower on the right hand side, lose it all together, and then just save the elixir for a stronger push later on, because we have two pumps down, just doing the nasty. So we're gonna ignore that hog rider. Go slow, ice golem right here. There we go. And then do an infernal dragon behind this ice golem. Minions for this? Does he arrows then? Even if he does, I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm t totally okay with that right there for sure. Let's go balloon here. Mega minion up here. Double ice golem. Freeze this. Minions in the back for support. And he's got the minion horse. So we're going to zap that here soon. Zap this. Boom. Balloon, get there. Get there, balloon. Get the damage done. There we go. Yes. One more hit, balloon. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna go boom, boom. Get our freeze ready here. Wait for it. Boom, freeze. Should be enough for the balloon to get in there and get one hit off. Yes, tower's dead. There we go. Kill the musketeer. Kill this hog here. Busting some rhymes. So we're busting out rhymes and playing Clash at the same time, guys. You don't know how hard that is to bust the rhymes and play Clash Royale. Boom, boom. Where's your minion, sir? Freeze that. Get their balloon. Get it done. Get it done. Zap this. Kill the minions. One more hit balloon, please. Ooh, not quite. Oh, the balloon taking the tower down. Good game to our friend Barba Papa up top there. What a comeback. So even though we took massive damage earlier on from the Hog Rider, we lost a tower like before W Elixir. We had so many pumps going on that he just could not stop the onslaught of Balloon Free Spam. Alright, so here we go with deck number two, the Lava Loon deck. Now, I think this is the strategy that everyone instantly thinks of when they think Balloon decks, but there are so many different strategies out there. So hopefully with this video, regardless of what cards you have, you have something available to you with that Balloon in there. Whether you have the Miner, the Mega Knight, the Giant, the uh, P.E.K.K.A. or whatever, hopefully something works for you. Let's go this here. Boom. 
Might take a bit of damage by that RG right there, but uh, once it's dead, we should be uh, have a nice little counter push right here. I'm kind of thinking about Fireball on this. Boom. Nice. Killer Witch, please. Yes, get to the tower. There we go. Has he got Arrows or Minion Horde here? He's got Zap. We can send some minions in, though, in case he's got nothing else in his hand. What has he got? Minions of his own? Archers? All right. We good. We good. Lava Pop's going to do work. That's the, that's almost a dead tower. In fact, it is a dead tower. We'll give him the little thumbs up right there. One word of advice for you folks if you are facing RG decks. Thumbs up. <laughs> when you take a tower. So let's go. We're going to go Lava Hound here. He's going to do RG on the right-hand side. We're going to lose that tower, but we're going to have a nasty counter push on the left. Um. Mm. Yeah, it's... I think we can ignore it. We should be good here to ignore that, right? So I got uh, lose the tower, go in for the kill here. We're going to use a Mega, though, to kill this Witch, though, before the Skeletons build up too much. And we're going to zap this. Boom. Get through Balloon. Yes, get there. There we go. Get a hit off. Nice. Beautiful. There we go. So we gave up a tower and got a huge damage lead in the opposite tower, which is fine by me. So now, what are we going to do here? Probably just get a tombstone going on right here. Uh, right here. If he does RG in the right, we'll just go Goblin Gang on top. And then go Lava Hound right here. So, the key to working out a Lava Hound deck is to honestly just soak up damage when you have to. And I build up a stronger counter push. We're going to go ahead here. Uh, go Balloon. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping we can get Juicy Fireball. Get Barbs, Witch, Ice, Wizard, and um, Minion Horror. Actually, we're going to Fireball this right now. That's too much juice to give up. Oh my god. We got it, guys. We got so much juice with that. Did you see the juice meter on that fireball? We got barbs. We got ice wizard. We got witch. We got minion horde. Can you believe how much value that is? Wow. I, can't, I don't even know what to rate that, guys. What I would give that value out of 10. But that is a three crown. So once again, thumbs up versus the RG. Always a good thing. And good game to you. Uh, well played, sir. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at deck number three. Alright, so here we go with deck number three, the P.E.K.K.A. Balloon deck, which, by the way, is my personal favorite out of the five. Just because it has that P.E.K.K.A. in there, and the P.E.K.K.A. I am currently in love with her. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, face off against Max. Let's see if he's got Max level cards. See what I did there, guys? Let's go stupid here. Quick minor balloon. I don't suggest doing this aggressive at the start. You don't know your opponent's deck yet. You don't know what kind of counter cards they have, so definitely... Would not suggest this kind of a push. Uh, I don't think Zap would have got an extra hit there, so... Maybe that was decent. This. And this. Boom. Infernal Tower 2? Most Expo decks have Infernal Tower in there. Alright, Log. I'm actually way okay with that Log. And the Ice Spirit. He wasted a ton of Electra right there. That's three. Um, what? Alright. If you say that night was closer, I won't believe you. I will not believe you, my friend. Can we get this in here? Is that this? Hmm. I was hoping the um, Zap would retarget the tower to the um, to the miner and save the Mega Minion some health, but unfortunately the archers went down as well and uh, getting some hits off right there. So knowing that he's got Expo in his deck means we have to keep our heavy tanks ready to counter it. And basically, we know he's got Mega Minion right now. So let's go. Ice going back here. Boom. If he does Expo, we'll do P.E.K.K.A. up front. Boy, where's your Expo? Okay, I'm gonna fireball that, sir. Boom, yes, sir. And we can start doing a slow P.E.K.K.A. up here. On the right-hand side. Because I believe the, P the Expo is his only win condition. And then we can do Balloon behind that P.E.K.K.A. with a fireball for the Archers and the Mega Minion. Because um, we should be in W Luxor by then. And maybe a Miner as well for just extra damage. I'm gonna use all my cards here. Don't even, don't even mind me. I'm just gonna use everything. All right, so let's go. Balloon. <gasps> He's got that in there too. I told you he had it. I said it, didn't I? Boom. Get this. Boom. Nice. All right, so that's good. That's good. We did some chip damage. Quick miner. Ooh, bad miner. All right, that was a waste. Uh, let's go P.E.K.K.A. right here. That'll get in front of the Expo, and he's going to do Infernal Tower for the Expo, which means we can use the uh, Ice Golem here. 
E Wizard over here, and then the Mega as well for his archers. There we go. Mm, is that this? Yes, yeah, got the archers too. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Voice crack. There we go. There we go. Um, I want to go quick minor balloon after this expo dies right there because we got the E Wizard for support. Get our fireball ready for his archers. We're gonna miss the archers and just go far up all boom balloon. Yes, getting there. Good game to Mr. Max getting shredded today against a Pekka balloon deck. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at deck number four. All right, so here we are with deck number four, the giant balloon cycle deck. And one of the reasons I really love this deck, this is number two in my like personal favorite list, is because there's no legendary cards needed. And it also features a lot of these strong ladder cards like Knight Archers. Um, Knight Archers Zap are three common cards that almost everyone should be focusing on upgrading first because of how strong and versatile they are. But also, it has the Fireball in there, which I think almost everyone focuses on leveling up as well. So it makes it a very easy deck for people to switch to and use because most people have like Knight Archers uh, Zap and Skeletons upgraded at least, right? So I don't know what he's doing logging a giant there, but I'll take it, dudes. Let's go... One of these. And I want to get a fireball on his barbs here. Hmm. Okay, we'll zap that. We'll get one balloon on the tower there. Then we can fireball his barbarians here next. Um. Let's do this right here. Boom. There we go. And then bats for the princess. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. He just wasted a free spell too. Wow, look at that, guys. He spent four elixir on a free spell, and it didn't do nothing. She was wearing a winter coat, guys. She is warm and toasty. We're gonna drop... Should we drop an early GG just now, or not? It's always bad luck when you drop early GG. We're gonna do it, but sometimes when you drop early GG, like, the karma gets you, and then you start losing. Uh, so hopefully the karma gods aren't watching me today, but we're gonna go... Giant on the right-hand side. He's gonna do ice wizard on the left-hand side, okay. I wonder if we can do juicy fireball again. Like, Giant, Balloon, Farble on Barbs, and Minion Horde. Uh, we can go this, and this. Oh, this is juicy though, eh? This is somewhat juicy. Not as juicy as the uh, juice that I mentioned, but... Oh, we missed the Ice Wizard, never mind. No juice today. But the Giant will get there. Nice. We can go Balloon here, he's low in Elixir. The only reason I know that is because he just used the Barbs right now, which means he's got nothing. He can't counter that Balloon. Get some juicy damage. You can freeze it though, alright. Mm. That's a respectable choice. Texan. But the balloon's still getting there, still getting no hits off. Uh, so let's go split archers here. Uh, I, I'm going to consider the tower on the right dead already, because that's at 250. And a fireball will kill it. So let's we'll start pushing the left hand side here for the works. There we go. Uh, ignore the RG there. Balloon here. And then where's your minion horde, sir? There it is. We'll do this. Boom. Nice. Boom, giant getting there. Balloon getting there. Oh, not quite. Oh, but it's getting close. Let's just cycle to a fireball here. So we can finish the tower on the right-hand side. Let's go zap here. And we'll go fireball for this tower on the right. So good game to our friend. I wanted to try and get an early damage lead on the opposite tower there on the left. Which we ended up doing because my tower on the left-hand side was at 386. So... If he ended up taking down my tower and we did go into overtime, I had a massive damage lead on his other tower right there. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at deck number five. And so finally, here we are with the fifth and final deck, the Mega Knight Balloon, the Mega Balloon deck. The Mega Knight is just so much fun to use right now. And in a lot of decks, the Mega Knight is actually kind of replacing the Fireball. I've seen a lot of strategies that now only use Zaspo. Because they have the Mega Knight as a, like, ground uh, damage deal spell, kind of, with his with his uh, spawn damage. And then they also have the Electro Wizard as a, as a Nether spell. So that's pretty interesting. I thought it was pretty interesting, for sure. He's got barbs, sir. Okay, so the Mega Knight will do work to the RG and, uh, ooh, Elite Barbs. The Elite version of the Barbarians. Hmm. Boom. And then Ice Golem. Yes, Ice Golem go down. There we go. So we didn't take as much damage as I would have thought with that slow RG push. But we do have a uh, Mega Knight here as well as a Miner. Now, for the most part, you don't want to do like slow Mega Knight pushes. The Mega Knight is like a defensive reactive card 
kind of like how the P.E.K.K.A. is in some decks. Like, you want to use it on defense only, not like a, a push builder. So we're going to go with this. We don't have Zap, which is unfortunate. I thought it was one card earlier. Uh, so we could have zapped, like, Bats if he had Bats or something like that. But the it'll kill the Tesla, but then it'll probably go to the Spear Goblin Hut as well. So it's 5 Elixir. Um, the Tesla is 4. And we got damage onto the Spear Goblin Hut, which is kind of okay, I guess, in the end. So we'll soak up some Spear Goblin hits on that tower. Split up a Goblin Gang here. And then we'll go E-Wiz Bats here. Boom. Kill the RG, please. Arrow's going down. Taking out everything. All right. Respectable arrows. Decent value. He's got, so he's got double buildings. He's got a good counter deck for us because he can pull that balloon indefinitely in the middle with the Tesla Spear Goblin Hut. Pull this over here. And then we can go Mega Knight here because I want to do Mega Knight Balloon on the right-hand side here soon. So we're going to go Balloon Miner here. Wait for it. Balloon Miner. And then we'll do... Goblin Gang for his minions, and then zap his minions as well. Boom, there we go. So minions are dead. Oh, no, two of them survived. Oh, no, they're dead. Never mind. Balloon getting there. Getting one hit off. Oh, the Tesla's down. The tower's dead. There we go. Oh, baby. Mega Knight, kill this uh, RG, please. He was right here. I'm going to cross my arms like this and just... We're just going to wait, guys. We're going to wait for the win here. Ah, uh, never mind. We got to go. We got to go in for the two crown. This guy is giving us a hard time today, folks. He don't like us today, my friends. Why don't he like us? I don't know. But he don't. Miner here. Okay, now we can cross our arms. That's it. Good game. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, RG, thumbs up. <laughs> there we go. Good game, guys. I'm just playing around. I don't necessarily mean use thumbs up all the time. Just kind of messing around over here. But anyways... Plus 28 trophies, that is the Mega Knight Balloon deck. But anyways guys, that will be the end of the video. Here are the five decks one more time if you want a chance to go ahead and copy them. So first we have the Balloon Freeze deck. If you don't have the Infernal Dragon, maybe an Infernal Tower in its place. The second deck over here is a classic Lava Loon strategy. Deck number three is Pekka Balloon. If you don't have the Electro Wizard, go ahead and use Archers in its place. And if you don't have the Miner, maybe a Battle Ram or a Hog Rider. And deck number four is a Giant Balloon deck. This deck has no legendary cards needed, which makes it very easy to use for the average free-to-play player. And then deck number five over here, obviously, is the Mega Knight Balloon deck. But anyways, guys, let me know which of these five decks is your favorite. Or if you guys use a different Balloon deck that isn't on this list, let me know what it is in the comments section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.